I don't know, I guess so. <laughs> I yeah. can hear a little noise, I think, when... Uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, um, wait, wait, wait. Are you waiting for me? I think you'll stop, you know. No, go ahead. I think it'll be fine. Okay. I'm behind you. <laughs> okay, right. so don't know. Um, what was the little boy's name? Oh, Mike. Mike. Yeah, he was eight years old. He was uh, seven years old. So the, the parents uh, tell me to go bring the sheep someplace in the farm, but. Uh, it was a friend, you know, instead of going to the farm with a look at the sheep because he goes somebody else, uh, we go on the mount. And uh, that day, when we were around 12 o'clock, it started the rain and a fog, you can see uh, 10 feet away from you. And uh, around 4 o'clock, past one guy, he says, hey, come on, boys, start to walk, walk home because it's uh, 4 o'clock. So we sit on, on the rock there because the rain, we hear the bell, the, the sheep. When I go there, there was half the sheep there, half was lost. So I told him, you stay here, the sheep, and I go there. No, after the mount, they say we can go before uh, July there. It's not safe. Or there, yeah, no, you can go there because they save the grass, they get big for the cow. I can't go with the sheep. So that the grass and never be, nobody pass. So I go there and I see where the sheep pass by there. That's when rain, you will see. And I uh, walk, but the rich and top mound was just a few rock, not too much, uh, I scared, maybe some wolf. On the How old were you? Oh, I was eight years old. And how old was Mike? Uh, Mike was seven years old. And uh, <coughs> I scared. I, I can see no, no more the trash the, where the sheep pass. And I come back. Ma and I come back, my stand to go there. I go the other way, another way there. I get lost. So lucky I find out between our town and another town, there was the picket line, but there was a big stone like that, uh, high. And I meet with that. I say, oh, oh, I say, where am I going to go? Stand I go this way, I go that way there. So I stand in the, f in the front of that, and I say, I got to walk straight. <laughs> when I walk straight, I find a fence. They used the fence, planted the trees there, the government. <coughs> it was all the uh, town uh, land. And I go the fence, and I, when I come back there, I say, find a mic. Say, I can find a sheep. I see what they eat, and after I scare the wolf, I don't see no more, and I come back. Okay, you look there, and I look on top of the uh, little hill over here. It's okay, but we we are one another. Ehu, ehu, do but in my ear, all the way I hear, but there wasn't him, no. So I look again, and I come back, and he was, was not there. And I yell at him, Mike, Mike. Nobody answered me. It was really dark. So I get that uh, half a sheep, and I go past the in front of this house. Uh, part of this sheep go there, and mine I bring home. When I, I reach home, my parents as well. What happened? Oh, we was out there and uh, we lost the sheep and uh, this and that. In the time uh, around, one sheep born a little baby. First I leave, I says, well, I don't know, I cry, you know. After I grab my feet, I put on the shoulder and... <laughs> you carry it home. <laughs> I carry it home. <laughs> when I go there, uh, all the uh, weight and everything, my parents uh, uh, change the clothes me, send me to bed and... A lot of people they go look because uh, they know to get a lot of people. They go about two, three hundred people. They find a sheep next day, you know, they go there because I told them I go there, uh, a place they call Yano Terman. I can see no more where past the sheep because the grass was uh, small, you know. And uh, they go there, they find a sheep about uh, maybe uh, 500 feet from uh, where I reached there. It was laid down a sheep and uh, sleep. You know. So, yeah. Uh, but this mic you can find out. But the police come home, the same thing, talk to me at the time. The parents are going to go to jail because they sent the kids, uh, not age, but they don't send us, we go, see. Mm. <laughs> His father was in uh, South Africa, but the grandfather was home. And uh, three days later, the one guy from different town, he sees something uh, with the, the plank at home. He go there and look. 
and he asked because the, the use of the, the time not by the radio they used to go men with the trombe and a uh, crier. Crier, lose the uh, boy, seven years old, anybody know, he please belong that family in that town. So this guy go there and says, what's your name? Mike. He says, you know, you get lost. Oh, I don't know, I can't see. Because from all places, see the mound, uh, Madez, they call them. There's the uh, Orier Rona, there's no one up there, but the 3,000 meter higher than uh, sea level. Ma Matese? Uh, Madez, uh, they call them. Uh, Madez. Madez, you know, because it's all mound, it's all bush, you know. And uh, <coughs> he says, well, I give you a ride home uh, with a horse, you know. And so he, he bring it back home. His grandfather was in jail already because... Uh, oh, no. Uh, yeah, because the second day he can find a pulmonary jail. So he's not supposed to... Uh, it was not the parents' fault. It was uh, our fault. We go there to play. I saw the sheep and eat and uh, don't make no damage. And uh, the night we come back home. But uh, after that, so he come back. And I says, how come you... Oh, I find a little, uh, what I call it, uh, track, you know, where you sit past the people or something. I walk, I walk, I don't see the Madez no more because the next day the fog is gone away, so it stopped rain. I don't see no more and I lay down underneath the rock there and I fall asleep, I stay there. So, <laughs> so he's come back home and uh, was a good friend. He's in, uh, I think he's in uh, Argentina now. Argentina now, they this boy. Oh, they was tough, you know, it was kids when we go <laughs> mm -hmm. play, you know, yeah. Uh, well. How did your, <laughs> that was in the story your father told you. Which one? Uh, any, uh, one when he was the youngest. Oh, <laughs> that's it. Uh, well, same story, you know, uh, because that, uh, see that time, uh, there was no school, high school, uh, like uh, now is there and now uh, is here. No? That time, uh, Loki, if they sent you to grade 5, that town, because they have no money, you gotta go to Rome to pay mm. to go to high school and uh, college, or, and not too many, maybe one every thousand people go. Wow. They have money. One hundred thousand people. So and up, to, up to grade five, it was okay. Uh, but after that, you have to yeah, pay. After you gotta pay, see. See, like uh, my parents, uh, me and uh, another cousin is in uh, Australia. Did they come and parent to teach? Don't let them pass or repeat another year. But that was the same story anyway. So they let it repeat. But a lot of pe a lot of people, uh, they got grade one, grade two. Uh, hardly uh, do their name, see. Like my wife, my sister, uh, due to the war passed by there. <laughs> they got grade one. My wife and my sister, I, I teach myself how to roll later, how to read uh, that little bit, uh, they know, see. Mm -hmm. I teach myself, if you know, then nobody, uh, there's no school, the time, no, um, after, in the war time, was no teacher, nothing, no more. So everything was closed, no, mm -hmm. it was bad. No, it was really tough uh, before, no, it was really tough. <coughs> and. Uh, that's my life. After a change, I get bigger. I go to work. Uh, you know, I work on a farm with my father there. But as soon as we do uh, cut the weed and everything, get ready, and uh, in October, uh, start do again, plant and everything. I jump and I go to Rome, work in a garden to make uh, a lira. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you get no money, nothing. And, uh, that was really tough. That's why I, uh, when I live there, I say I don't come back no more. Now even the change is better, but to me, that's where the time I says goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, <coughs> and it was tough over here too before, because when I come in 1952 in February, I had addressed uh, one guy in the rest because my father-in-law he gave $470 to him to give the lawyer and make me a paper. So the lawyer go to one farm and say, hey, sign here, you need it, but no worry, not come to work with you. So the farm don't need me. Oh, just to get you through, cut through immigration? And yeah, yeah, just uh, need the paper to... Uh, <coughs> so when I come, uh, I don't know this guy, I know his brother, he was same age mine. I, he come over here about uh, two years before me. And uh, I go there, I had the address, uh, it was Shoemaker, 
Jag hade rest på butik och då var det en tjus där, en läckig tjus. Så var det där i midnight. Jag hade taxi en train station. Och det var i Montreal? Montreal, ja. And uh, I go there, midnight was close, so I don't understand one word, nothing. I still like that, I see Alex Venditti, uh, well, that's the guy, but uh, close. So the taxi guy go one little store, he grab the phone, there was a phone outside there, he grab the phone and phone one guy in northern Montreal. He speak Italian, and he give me the phone. He says, you, you look for, uh, oh, I says, Alex, uh, indeed, uh, that's uh, what is uh, work, he says, well, you know this house, no, I says, I don't know the house. Well, he says, uh, if you want to come sleep inside tonight, come over here, please, I says, there was uh, one meter snow there, where am I going to sleep tonight, I'm going to die here. I say, okay, if you want to come, give the phone back to the taxi, I give it to him, he talk there, but I don't understand nothing, so he, he bring me over there, in northern Montreal. He, when I reach Mont uh, northern Montreal, this uh, tavern, you know, where the, they play card and drink, you know. Yeah, bar. A bar. So, there was a fascia, like Mussolini, and the front, a pig. What the heck is this? So, but I go in there, right away, there was about 20 people there, they fill up a glass of beer here, drink over here. But I never touched the glass, there was food there, you know. They give me back ten dollar at Halifax when I get off the boat. I pay three seventy at uh, uh, taxi. <laughs> but I left some. Uh, I buy some bread and road uh, and a train time uh, from Montreal to come there. I don't have that much money left, so I go there. There was around uh, one o'clock. The guy says, "The owner says, come on, you guys. I got to close. Come on, come on." And they figure me too. But that glass still was closed, uh, full there. <laughs> still like that. See? Think so much each. So he says, What's the matter? He's still in uh, no, our country there? Oh, they take me off and they pay them and go. He says, Okay, I ain't got no bed. I gotta sleep inside. I says, As long as I stay inside, because outside I'm gonna die. I say, <laughs> Okay, he so Put all the table nice, clean them up, put the chair together and sleep. He says, uh, Soon they come one guy called uh, his name Antonio. He says, uh, He's, he's uh, stay inside the same thing here. After a while I hear boom boom on the door, everybody was gone. I go, you're Antonio? Yeah. Oh, come on in. Oh, the owner says we got to do this. Then. Clean him up. Oh, he says, no worry, it's one month. I live here already, he says. I put a little coat underneath the head and the floor mm -hmm. there and sleep. And uh, I say, Antonio, there is some work over here. No worry, we're in, uh, we're in America, he says, no worry, we're in Canada. He says, I go out, somebody give me penny, somebody give me a nail. Uh, say, I go clean, clean one horse every, once a week, they give me one dollar. I says, a uh, pound of spaghetti cost this much. Say, I can, holy Jesus, say, what am I going to do here now? <laughs> <laughs> I figured that guy was going on the stairs because uh, his brother-in-law supposed to come with me. He was mad at all. He said, maybe fine or not. He says, I don't come there no more. Because he sent the wife in New York, he was over here only for four years, you know. Called his brother, uh, called me, called somebody else. Uh, uh, you said he was the mayor, mayor, mayor of the town? Mayor of the town, his brother-in-law in Italy, yeah. Okay. He says, I got two girls, only two girls. He says, my property and them property, they never come back here, I stay good, I used to come there. Said, well, okay. And uh, I believe I never find out here. I think he's gone, gone, gone to gone. America. So what am I going to do? I, so I stayed there and oh, it was a long, long night. I tell it. So early in the morning, the tent, oh, he's gone away. He will look for a penny. I had suitcase there, there some cheese in there. I said, at least I eat some cheese. What am I going to go? I ain't got no money, nothing. So uh, around nine o'clock, he come the owner. I said, first thing, I got to straight this, uh, your uh, thing now. I call a taxi to send you at your friend at that uh, boutique there. If he's uh, not there, the taxi, I told him to bring you back here and I pay the taxi. See. If he's your friend there, I'm sure he pay the taxi. Okay, I says, well, if he's not there, I ain't got no money, but I do any work he want. I try to do the best I can, I says, but uh, okay, go. 
So I'll say, I take a suitcase with me because I don't know how to come back here. Mm -hmm. So I take a suitcase, I go there and I find this, uh, what's this guy there? I know his brother, but I don't know him, no. Mm -hmm. His brother was a worker. So I go there and say, he was there uh, last night at the station, but uh, I don't recognize you. But, uh, even in, uh, in the radio, I'll uh, call your name. <laughs> I say, I don't stay long, I just, uh, I go there, take a taxi and go, I come. I say, he was close. So yeah. Oh, so he went to the station to get you and yeah. you went to his, his store. Yeah, he went to his store. He, yeah, probably, he, closed, he probably closed early to come get you. See, <laughs> what happened. Uh, and uh, so the guy, uh, God bless, he's passed away. He was a nice guy. He closed the bodega and said, come on home. We go home. And he made some lunch to me. I eat and then I have to come back to the bodega there. <coughs> so I was so happy and I leave that guy there. I had the bodega for sale now. That's why he did not sell yet before. Mm -hmm. But uh, one day now, that's so why I, <coughs> I started to uh, work for a job, look for a job, but I don't understand. I remember one time, he says, I've seen a paper there, that there, uh, some construction. Oh, I think uh, I know the, the boss there. I see the foreman there. So, because uh, his brother tagged me one time and ever. So I go there and say, so I learned that word, you have a job for me? So the guy says, uh, I'm a sorry, says, but uh, come back see me tomorrow. Oh, I see. I understand his sister was dead. Because I said, oh, yeah, they say the word different than, uh, oh. I'm a sorry. <laughs> sorry sounds more. like sister. A sorry sister, uh, tomorrow and uh, mort. Mort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your sister is dead, oh no. When I come back home and I says, you look at that? Yeah, but says the guy, uh, his sister is dead. How do you understand this? It well, sore, more, it's, uh, it's uh, the sister dead. Uh, <laughs> Did he say no, no, it's no? A, that's uh, really, really bad. Did he understand it meant he, uh, Well, he, he didn't understand, but after I learned, I hear that word and I learned what what was the uh, meaning of God. <laughs> but that time, no. So, yeah. Uh, I walk here, walk there every day. So one day, me and another guy, he was a couple years live here already. We walk on the street. One contractor was build a house. And he had the, all the weapon driver on the house, he got back, do the back feel. He come out and says, hey, you. I got three day job here. I give you $21. Back. I said to the guy, what do you say? He said, he wants you, tell me we come boat. You understand, and we do. No, he says he got one shovel only. He wants only you. You never see a Canadian dog. Say, you come, oh sure, I come. So next morning, uh, get up. I go there, eight o'clock. He told me the shovel where it was. I pick a shovel, I start the back of the field. At 12 o'clock, I do half the house. And he said three, three days. Three days. And uh, he come. He come. He shaking his head and say in the French, tranquil man, tranquil man, oh gosh, I gotta up. I say, I can't do more than that. I gotta up. He grabbed me, come with me, and bring me a little store there, uh, buy me a pub. He started to talk, he talked, you know. And and was after, he talking in French? Uh, French. And you didn't understand too well? I didn't understand, no French, you know, no English, nothing, you know. So uh, he says, after you help, the, there was the carpenter that put hardwood floor there. You bring, take the wood there and bring it to the carpenter. So I start to bring. But the guys after say, grabbed me and sit down and says, hey, sit down. He says, uh, <laughs> we got put, we got no place to put, we bring, bring more <laughs> one. <Pretty fast. laughs> I don't know. So next day, I come back. At noon, I was finished. All, all fresh, a little wrap a little bit, I check all the way He come back. He come back. A chicken head, same thing, grab me, bring me to the store, buy me. He started to make understand where you live and where, uh, you know. And I says, okay, I live this, uh, I live with one friend, uh, he got telephone, uh, make me understand the telephone, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I give him the number, he right away go to the phone. Go to the phone, oh, yes, he says, he's going to tell Alex I don't work now for something. <laughs> <laughs> so he come call me, he talk you up a little bit there, and after he call me, he say, come over here, talk with the... Then he, what do you do? And I says, I don't know what he tell you, but that's all I can do. I can do more than that, I says. He say, you kill yourself, I says, too much, he say. Three day job, you do two half a day. 
Oh, I see. Oh, I relax. Well bit, you know. But the guy was so nasty. He gave me twenty one dollars. He said, I got the phone number. He make me understand. I got the phone number. When I need you again, I call you again. Mm -hmm. So I uh, stay home. I go looking for a job every day. You know, look for a job. So I hear where they put an application for uh, go to Labrador. How, how did you hear about that? Well, uh, you know, a lot of people at all, the office here, uh, send the, for six months, uh, they give you six months a job of 85 cents an hour as well. Like, oh, I got six months a job, you know, a job. And they, and they give you food and places to Everything, sleep. you know. Yeah, yeah they give you the food, uh, but they draw a dollar and a half a day. For food. And for food and for sleep, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I want to go there. So over there, there was a Italian guy. To hire the people in there. He was a crook a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, and I, every one, the first application they filled up, the police was on the door. The guard, the door, he filled up for me. The name I told, and everybody filled up, bring me, they bring me. Another day, another week or two after, I get another application, and I see one woman, please feel for me. Uh, this woman, uh, what's your name, what's this, uh, mark everything, I uh, bring back in there. So the, uh, uh, that police uh, in the door, every time you see me, come on, see if your uh, name come out. Nothing. So the third application, I see one priest. Oh, he says, come with me. Come with me. Father Francisco is in, uh, I go with him, it was Father Francisco, speak Italian. And I say, I want to go to Labrador and got nobody. This guy sell the uh, business and he go and stays and I got no, no money, nothing. But at uh, the same time, I work in uh, one place that come all the fruit from California. I load them up a truck with one uh, Frenchman drive. He let me stand in the back and scare, fall down to the box. And the uh, cab was uh, only himself in there. So six o'clock in the morning, to 11 o'clock at night, bring the food, this uh, food for the store. So, yeah, after uh, the end of the week, he gave me $19. That's, his, that's all he gave me, $19. Oh, after one year you work here, I give you $40 a week. I gonna die uh, by then, I says. I got no money. I got uh, nothing, you know. Because my father-in-law come from the States, he come and left me $20 when he come to see him. And I, and I make another $19 there. And that priest wrapped me the paper, he took $1 and he gave it to me. So with that $20 before, I pay the rent. We pay $10 each uh, month. Well, $20 a month was three. Me and that uh, guy called me and his brother. $10 each. So I pay the... And uh, I had $20 and $19. And, dollar. and uh, this guy started calling me bad name. Call you a bad name? Oh, bad name, me and a bunch of guys there who are looking for a job. So I will lose it. Are you like her? Yes, I see you outside. Oh. Beautiful. Sometimes, yeah. Congratulations. Nice, nice small pool. Yes. Not too big. Yeah, congratulations. Oh, it's beautiful inside the outside. Thanks. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, call me all this name. And I'm in my head, I say, what the hell, oh, here, no job, nothing, but I get uh, mad at the time. <laughs> I end up giving three, four punch in the head. He called me uh, all, all kind of names, the time. Bam, the, so I come to the police, <laughs> bring me in. <laughs> bring me in, and I shake it for the nerves, you know, because uh, I see what's the matter, the people never uh, hear and go, the guard. So he quickly come there. He come uh, in a police station, he stand there, but I don't understand nothing. And uh, just before he come, I have to call this uh, friend there. Because the police make no sense, he says, where you leave, uh, call this friend, because I don't understand English. When the, uh, this friend come, the police uh, and, and, uh, and that guard, the police, they have, they have, they have, they take me out. And he told me, he says, look at this, yeah, he says, it's, Three times I put the application and never called me. Nobody, sometimes, never, never see anybody and uh, go. So 
because he, he wanted the money, 20 go. So I don't go there no more. I said, maybe that guy there, you know, he used to go there no more. So I go on, and I go north of Montreal, there was uh, Francis Keen, one contract to me. He hired a thousand people in uh, spring, in April, uh, in June, when it's summer, no. When I go, I, I usually go there, up and there was a little, little shake outside. As soon as I open the door, no job, no job, he turned back into, eh, 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 eh. You see, that was him. Oh, I see, it's what I had. He worked there and he and I close the door and I go. So I figure after, say, maybe when I go there, he was fired. Mm. He was fired because the police maybe called the company and fired him. And the, and the guard the door, come on, I says, come on in here. So I go there, and there was one guy, a little creepy, who was a short leg there. Start the, yeah, yeah, but uh, some guy went because it was hundred people lay down in the front there waiting for a job. One guy says, you never go in Labrador, why? He's got to pay. Well, why? I said, what the hell? So, come with me. At the night, when uh, he quit, the guy passed in the front of the, the tavern there, buy a bottle of beer, Labrador. Man, Pias, $20. I had the twenty dollar, nineteen a work. The dollar to give me the priest. I had twenty dollar here, long as I go to Labrador. But a friend of mine, he don't there, but he don't worry too much because he had his brother work. I was two three years already here. No, he have something to eat. No, myself, I have nothing. I gotta go. So I give the twenty dollar, and uh, every day I go there, do like that with the head, not yet. Uh, after a few days. Oh, I says, okay, so they call you by name, you're going to uh, pass the visa to the doctor, and then they send you in a Labrador. No. But it was bad, it was bad. <laughs> At that time, it was just not like that. <laughs> I could go too long, so I'll stop. Uh, well. <laughs> I think I'll stop. No, it's not stopping. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, thanks for <laughs> So the last time we got to, you needed to get some, like, some medical things yeah, to Labrador? <clears throat> yeah, Labrador, you gotta pass the visit first, and then you, they send you over there. See? So, uh, I was lucky to send me there. Well, lucky that time you gotta pay the guy, you know. Because I didn't know. Twenty dollars or something. Twenty dollars, pay twenty dollars, and I work all w one week for nineteen dollars and one dollar one priest to give Her me. Priest. Okay, yeah, you said and, that. Uh, so I, when I go to Labrador, there uh, they send the it was five six guy there. They send also a uh, one or four men there, one uh, boss. I don't need. I don't need. What? So we stay there. We come back in office. In Labrador, they send us another uh, superintendent. This uh, Bob Coltac who was a nice, uh, nice guy. God bless whatever he is, you know. And he says, "Well, company, I you okay." First couple of weeks, they give us a rig to clean them up or run the, where they build the tent, you know, mm -hmm. that uh, comes. So and after any place they got to work, they send us to the work. He was a uh, six uh, Italian guy. They make us a group. On, uh, so, but send us to uh, do some work. We'll do the work of the day because they bring us with the pickup truck and then they come back, pick them up at the noon and, uh, in the evening, you know. It was 10 hours a day, 85 what, cents an hour. What kind of things were you doing? Well, uh, sometimes uh, load them up a train, sometimes uh, in the railroad, or to, uh, any kind of job. Send us there. Always to do with the always to do with the railroad. Oh, uh, no, this is a uh, CMMK. They call uh, because they make uh, from Saint Island, the last town of Quebec, up to Labrador, 480 mile. Make the railroad, and they make there was the mine, but it was not under the ground. It was a three mount high there. They used to make the railroad and load them up the mineral. Was 100% uh, there the, <laughs> the mineral. That's uh, this company CMMK from. Uh, 
iron ore company from uh, steels uh, do the contract for 90 years there to report all that stuff. So we work uh, there, whatever they send us to work, we work like a hell, you know, all young guys. Yeah, strong backs. And uh, they call us <laughs> one, uh, one foreman, the, uh, the 12 guy with him, you know. And uh, all the time uh, go uh, complain uh, superintendents, uh, they call us a crazy gang. <laughs> See, they're wrestling all day long. I say, see, they do the job. We do the job in two, three hours, and after, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, you know. I never forget one time, uh, he says to load them up with a bag of cement and uh, tap a tray. And there was a two flat car fo full with a thousand bag each flat car. We have to load another two flat car. We don't understand. One guy says, oh, he says, we can take out this. And we take all day to take all that out. So one of the drivers can pick us at night. He go there and says, no, they empty the other two car. Oh, this open then then they one short leg. Uh, fire, fire. What the hell is going on? So one guy explained, what the hell you guys do? We load them off the cement. No, you're supposed to load another two, uh, two car uh, uh, full. <sighs> Oh, we we can hear. There, there was a uh, midnight. Uh, no, there was uh, the evening, you know. And uh, to the driver, bring us back there. We bring us back there. We go there. Read. How many hours? We, uh, we have a pile of cement, a pile beside the railroad there. The train uh, was parked there. We just throw the cement. The one grew up there, one, another one on top of the pile there. Midnight, uh, five hour, uh, midnight from seven to five uh, to midnight, we'll load them up four, four thousand bags of cement. We'll load them up that we sweat, that coal, we sweat, brace them up, everything. When the driver can pick us at uh, uh, midnight, superintendent was stand up there, uh, was in the kitchen, because they give us the food at uh, midnight too, no? And they say, how many, uh, how many bags uh, they put? I check all the four cars. When we shake and we, you know, work hard, and uh, and he had a short leg, he comes and says, take uh, 10 hours to empty two flat car, and uh, five hours you load five, four uh, flat car. <laughs> 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 You're motivated. Holy jeez. Well, we were six guys who work like a hell, no. We didn't know this guy going to complain all the time. You know what happened one time? There was... Uh, uh, 12 flat car full of ties. They got they have a railroad, they gotta make another railroad. So we got through these ties like that. Railroad ties. Railroad ties. And the uh, superintendent come there, he says, from here to there, belong to you, crazy guy. Crazy gang, they call. And from here to back, I that four men there. He had 12 guys. No, he says, hey, here, come. Six car, twelve guy, a six car, a six guy, something going on. We step in front of there with the, that hope, zoom the ties, zoom the train goes low, and super then on top of the uh, engine look like that. So them guys in the back, lucky the catch in the back. Even if one put some ties, can put because we put enough ourselves. Soon as we finish, he stop the train, he come over there, he says, "You guys go." On a flat, on a pickup truck there, back go to sleep, and the guy says, uh, "I say, don't complain for the crazy gang anymore. Says, if you finish by midnight, finish. If you know, I'll pay only five hours to midnight." Aha! Uh -huh. I say, this guy is going to complain about us. <laughs> don't do nothing. And uh, we work, work. After oh, so, the, so, the, so the guy in charge of the other guys yeah, was complaining he had, about you. Yeah, he had a twelve uh. guy. And ourselves, we have no four men, nothing, nothing. So they used to bring people. us, there were six, six guys. of you. Six guys, you know, all, all Italian. Oh, all Italian. So, uh, reaching the uh, yeah. end of October, the company lay off a thousand dollars, because they have 26,000 employees there. Thousand thousand uh, employees there, and myself, I was worried, I tell the truth. Because uh, my father-in-law from the States, he paid $430 to let me come over here, he paid a lawyer in Montreal, in Montreal, the lawyer go to the farm and say, you put the uh, 
But this signature. guy not uh, not come to work. Say you're going to hire him, but don't yeah, worry, he won't come. He won't come. See, and, uh, Just to get you here. So I have to give that money back to him. He don't want the... Uh, uh, how much was it? Uh, $100? $420 at that time. $430. So I send the money to him. And I send some money in all country to my father. said, uh, keep a tractor to... Uh, 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 you know, plow the ground, the, the, this, that. I say, if he go outside, my father, he work hard, you know. Uh, he take my wife there too now. She, she die, he gonna be sick. The, just to look at him, the way he work, you know. He work uh, worse uh, than me, double than me. And, uh, and I have no money. I says, where the hell am I gonna go now? I'm scared, you know. But this superintendent had been uh, transferred along the line. They call it salvage train. They call a log, log line? Uh, along the line. You know. Oh, along the line. Along the line where uh, they got all the camp, all the machinery broke. They got all bring to the base camp at uh, Seven Island. So uh, he told the company, he says, okay, I take the, uh, the boys I want. He take the six, four men he had under him and took me too. Hmm. Put him. So I go there, wow. We, we have to run like a wolf there. So do you, do you take any of the other six no, guys? You're no, the other guys got to, got to lay off and go. But everybody who's got a brother, who's got a relation in Montreal, they go to Montreal. I have nobody. I was yeah. worried. Tell the truth, I was worried. So I took So I have, because I have no money. I send the money away. And the employment, they don't give you the time in uh, 51, uh, 52. You got to work one year to get three, three months in employment. I was not... Uh, not one year, it was seven months. Seven months? Seven months, from May to uh, November, see. Uh, so, uh, he take with me with him there, and I worked uh, this, about the, oh, seven uh, months. Seven months in this uh, seven train. We sleep in the train, we eat in the train, and we move. We go, go just like wolf house, raise the camp there, put the beam on the lead, brace everything, hook them back to the bulldoze, and bulldoze and drag them on. Far away, no, where you gotta Was this building a road or? No, uh, wood, the building. Wood Buildings? Wood. Yeah, just yeah. Uh, with the ties, uh, just to let them sleep the employee, you know, and move. Oh, okay. So and the, the, you're, you're building buildings out of railroad ties? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the drug, uh, hmm. because, and, uh, no, because uh, there, every few miles they have a camp. Want to open a, uh, maybe a thousand guy, uh, uh, 500 guy, the band of the camp. And then this got to move after, you know. See? What are the guys in the camp doing? Are they logging or? Th they work the same as we work in the base camp, you see. Make everything, you know, because uh, make the road and everything. Got to make a railroad. Oh, this is all to build a railroad? Yeah, to build the okay. railroad and everything to go up to the Labrador, you know. And uh, a lot of places, you know, different work. Like uh, one bridge on top of the Manhattan River. I worked there 15 day, 15 night. 264 hour, maybe still that sleep, uh, check sleep, uh, throw there and that. 264 hour, I work there and uh, just to tie them up and uh, tie the bolts. That's uh, army, like army bridge, you know. The crane they give us, after 15 days, the, the company called me, says, uh, Are you tired? Not only me, we was the uh, three, four guy, regular, you know. Because that's super, then they, they give me a job regular, regular after. Uh, with the same uh, these guys, uh, four men here, you know. And stand 85, take a dollar and a quarter an hour. Instead of 85 cents, it was a dollar yeah. and a quarter. Dollar and a quarter an Better hour. Better money. There was good money. Go. <laughs> <laughs> and when, uh, when was this? Was this in 1953? Yeah, 1952, yeah. 52? Yeah. Yeah, when I go there in November, I start and I work seven months. So after the... Uh, okay, okay, you went there November 51. No, and I you worked uh, seven months to 52. No, I uh, November 52. Oh, okay. It was so this is before that. Yeah. I go there. After seven months, we load all the camp transfer and then uh, left all the machinery. So this superintendent says, uh, two guys got to go to the base camp to load all this machine down. That was uh, all the uh, trouble. The machine broke and you know, I got to bring them there. So, volunteer, first to one go, I lift the hands. Okay, me, another guy, I gotta go. And uh, he called me after. Say, why you want to go away from me? Honest to read, I, I grabbed, I give me a case, I says, you, 
it saved my life because when I go, if the company let me off, you don't call me here, where am I going to go? I have no money, nothing. But I don't like stay all life separate the family. I says, I got to go now. If I go, don't like that, I go back to Montreal, I get employment and I see, find some job. I got to call my family. I want, I don't want to stay separate. Oh, he said, don't, he don't dare, he stay now. So from uh, 53 there, I stayed till December 54. I had a steady job after, in uh, shipping. This and is the base camp. At base camp, it was seven islands. Last town of Quebec, where I started the... Uh, seven islands? Seven islands, yeah. Oh, uh, Septil. Eh? Septil. Septil. Uh, in call. French, yeah. Uh, because there they make the, the uh, dog about the, oh, six mile. Yeah, after one finish was six mile long. The boat come over here, uh, you know, and the machinery, the the train come full of this uh, mineral. The machine dump the train just like a uh, dump a pail. And uh, the, uh, the boat in half an hour was full, go that one and the other one parked behind. Oh, that was like that, you know. They go to Philadelphia, mm. instead of where the, all this... Uh, Make metal and yeah, steel. Yeah, because there at Seven Island there was some... Uh, well, there is a six mile long, all the, and the all the railroad, and you see the mound, this is all uh, uh, iron, this other, all the different kind of mineral, no? all different kind of, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and uh, because the winter, no, uh, no boat can come there, all the summer come, no? and, and then got the machine, then dump this uh, Ferraplatz boat, you know. But when I go on uh, this base camp there, it was good. It was more warm anyway, uh, not like a level or 65 below, there it was uh, uh, 45, 50, you know, it was uh, much better. And the shipping, three days a week we work hard, uh, load them up the stuff to send up uh, uh, north and uh, when I receive the other, uh, empty out the train. So it was not bad and I stayed there, they gave me a steady job. I worked till, uh, when I called my sister. I called my brother-in-law, he wants to uh, come here, so I have to call my sister and the family. I have to come all. So I wrote a letter and said, don't, don't come to Labrador because here it's cold, no place to go. And uh, go to the Torol, they have uh, my wife, of course, and we wrote, he says, oh, here is not too bad. No? So I, I live from uh, Labrador, you come there. So I come on Christmas in, uh, in uh, 54, December 54. And the superintendent was there. He says, "Ah, oh, once you see Niagara, you never come back here." Oh, I gotta come back. I want two me uh, two months. Be upset to find a job for my brother-in-law, and then I come back. When I come uh, in Torold here, I can find no job for my brother-in-law. He don't speak uh, one word English. Mm. Myself, I was a lord little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, find one uh, to put water line down the Collier Road there and. Uh, this company says, well, if you start the work yourself, I give you a job boat. If not, I can give you. You don't understand me. And uh, I say, OK, give me that job. So I wrote. So he was right. Your <laughs> <laughs> superintendent was right. I says, OK. And uh, so I wrote the company there and sent my book and everything uh, back. And I don't come back there no more. So. I just want to check the camera, uh, make sure it's. Uh, I think it's. OK, it's OK. And. Uh, <laughs> So they sent your stuff? I, they sent me everything, you know. Even one uh, German fellow who was the uh, best friend with me, we sleep in the same room. Even sent me uh, one big uh, package, all that uh, rubber clothes. <laughs> what the hell am I going to do over here? <laughs> Heavy clothes I have there, he sent them to me, you know. He was a friend, you know. So I work here uh, three months with that, uh, uh, that company that put the water line. And uh, the superintendent, uh, the company wants to put me where, uh, in a factory where they build this uh, cement pipe. A friend of mine, he, uh, he have a crane, he says, Danny, when I finish this job, me and you, we go there. I said, All the ones he come, he says, hey, they cancel your name. What's the matter? He says, oh, Axel, says the foreman. No. Uh, he says, Axel want to take you with him uh, uh, 70 miles, uh, or 70 miles away from there, they got to build some bridge. They say, you do the regular, you know how do I want to take with me. And the company gave me, okay, you know. So, gosh, I says, I got to go away. I got to work because I buy a house. 
Uh, it was my sister, my brother-in-law, and my uh, niece. She, the one she passed away there. And uh, well, I don't. Angie was there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Angie, uh, she was uh, three years old when he uh, come. No? So I, uh, I says, what am I gonna do? And I have a chance to go to the town. One guy come to me and says, hey, the guy you look for good work. You want to come here? I say yes, I come. Because if not, I gotta go 70 miles away. Yeah. I, I got a work to do, run a house, I gotta make ready for the call of my family, you know. So, so this yeah. is before they came. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, uh, I quit. <laughs> I told him I gotta, I gotta go make, a, uh, you know, a paper for call my wife and a family, you know. And he can make me nice later, you know. Well, this is before you told him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I says, but I want to be sure of the job, you know. So uh, I go to work there, and uh, about two or three days later, he passed by there. X, I say, what's his name? What's X? I'm sorry. I, says, I, I know they call us, uh, they ask us what kind of man you was. Oh, you know, so well, I'm sorry. Well, I don't want to come that far away, 70 miles away. I got a lot of work to do on the house. I says, over here, you know, it's close. So I, st I stay there, and uh, they lay off me first year, you know. And they I work. Uh, they laid you off the first year? Yeah. Uh, well, I started there in uh, May with the city. May 1954? 54, uh, uh, yeah. I started uh, there and uh, in November laid me off. Yeah, November, the end of November. Because there's not so much work during Not much just? because uh, we do the cement. There was all a farm there. Mm -hmm. We do all, uh, see Queen Street? That was the last street. They had there, it was all a farm. <laughs> so all the road, all the side of the walk, all the curb there, passed under my hands there. I put the form on the front, I'm going to help the guy finish his man in the back, you know. All. And uh, you built the road. <laughs> <laughs> all the road, all the, uh, the road that break now, all the, uh, still the curb, still leave them there. I says, hey, you know when we this uh, the other day, I passed by there, one, one uh, boss there, 1955. How do you know? I said, I worked at that curb there. 1955, I said, we built this uh, road over here. It was all far. So I, uh, I started to work there and uh, with this uh, on the, uh, uh, with the city, you know. And uh, let me off in November. And I find a job. Uh, uh, one week I work at the, that uh, post office there. They make bigger, you know. So I finish a job. I come back. And I find a job at the canal. And the canal, uh, to the cheap inside that uh, close the door, they close, you know. Yeah. With the flashlight and all, they go there, cheap, cheap, you know. So after uh, come the guy, they spray all asphalt again inside there. You know. They sprayed the inside of the locks? Inside of the locks, so they, that gate, you know. Uh, Why'd they spray it? What if you know, they get rusty. Oh, with the oil or something? Or yeah, some kind of uh, like a uh, Z-bar. Like oh, Z-bar. Like a Z-bar there, no. Hmm. But there was no oh, bad job there with the flashlight and you chip there, ding, 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 ding. Uh, what are you chipping away? What was the, yeah, all the loss, uh, stuff was loose, you know. You got to chip them away. Uh, on uh, on the gate or on the sides? Uh, inside. On the sides. Inside, see, that's this wide, that uh, door there, the one yeah. that closed. You got to go inside. Inside the door? Inside the oh. door. Oh, the yeah. The doors are hollow. Yeah, it was uh, empty, they got the whole oh, thing. Inside there with a the chip there. The like rust and... Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I still was work there and the uh, city go, called me back. You know. So I quit and I come back. This is like uh, spring of 55? Yeah. yeah, there was uh, in uh, March. March of 55. March, I never got to lay off no more. No. Still work there all... Uh, yeah, before it was tough, you know, uh, no machinery like now and everything. You know, all by hands. Shovels. <laughs> so, uh, make that, that curb, you know, we have a little mix. So one guy throw the stone in, one guy throw the sand, one bag of cement, and make three wheel bar and bring them in front of that. <laughs> See, what, what are you well, going to Did you have something to make the cement in, or was it just like a big... No, it's it a little cement. You, you know, had a little cement thing going yeah, like uh, Did you move it by hand, or was it No, a motor? it was a motor, a okay. little motor, but... Uh, that's okay, that's They go himself and yeah. dump. Uh, a domain wheel bar there. Uh, two, three guys with a wheel bar bring. Myself put the form in the front. Uh, one guy finish the curb. 
Once I do work, take a long, so I got, got to go help to finish the, the cement, you know. I will work there. Uh, oh, I have a lot of uh, this guy, you know, the spare, you know, guy, and then lay off him. And, uh, what was there before you put the sidewalk? What was there? Was it like just dirt? Or? Just dirt. Dirt. But the, road, uh, but the road was, was, was paved? No, 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 nothing. It dirt was, road and it dirt? It was a farm. <laughs> so the, the picket, the, the engineer, at that time uh, the city don't have an engineer, an engineer from Niagara Falls, had the farm, he put the stake where they got to make the road. Make the road, and so they leave the stake. So this four men, poor guy, God bless, where is he? He can't even write his name. Give me that paper to me. Then you understand this, yeah. Well, okay, you, you put this, please, you put, put the light. So I uh, understand that says uh, 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 two inch down or two inch up or three inch down and up. And up. So the grader was passed first, you know, took the door to win, uh, and uh, put, uh, I put the curb after. The, uh, the grader just got to go uh, to dig a little bit for the curb, you know, and I put the curb, you know, at the time 20 inch deep the curb, you know, and after fill up the road, uh, with the stone and uh, put the asphalt, uh, they have a year after they to do that. You know. But uh, this was, so this was building Queen Street, or is this building another street? No, no, no. Uh, or a highway. I start the uh, I start from uh, uh, Richmond McDonald next, then Rose Avenue, Elgin Street, up to Broderick and the Tunnel Line over there, way up to Collier Road, all that street up to Collier Road. Well, so what was the street you were building? The first one I started was yeah. McDonald. Oh, you did McDonald Street, and then you did. Oh, I thought you did one, one road that went up. Yeah, well, go all the way along in the farm there, and then uh, because not to ride the uh, Collier Road on top here, there was township at the time. We go to the property line uh, township, but the Collier Road, uh, the solo one, there was all up to Collier Road. There was all town at the time. Mm -hmm. Now township, the uh, Torol, the two old township. Uh, yeah. Now it's all Torol. At that time it was township, so yeah. Uh, different townships. Because they built them a uh, few years later that. They built it uh, there. Mm -hmm. So they contracted three or four streets they got there. You know. And uh, keep going there after, uh, and that's in the summer, in the winter, they put me back in Gara Beach. I like more back in Gara Beach. It's garbage? The garbage. Oh yeah, the winter, uh, for quite a few winter I worked in back in Gara Beach because uh, in the winter can do no cement, you know. Yeah. Uh, so from uh, Gara Beach, and I work in Gara Beach, me and another guy, he passed away now. And we work there. I like more there. It's a lot of work and you feel uh, healthy, you feel good, you know. You don't, you're not there good because uh, all the form, all this and that, the uh, finishes event, and there was uh, more work, you know. But what are you going to do? That's what's the job you got to do, see. And uh, I work all this other kind of job. In 1970, the, in uh, 68, because every time uh, there was one guy uh, uh, before the water, they, they keep uh, the PUC, you know, the uh, hydro. Mm -hmm. There was with the hydro. But after the time to go uh, the water, so they send this four men, he look after the water there with the city. And uh, he had a couple of guys that they want to do too much work, you know. And he called me sometime, when the overtime or sometime. Then he wanted to get the water man broke there. Okay, I go. Fix the water main, dig them up, fix everything. So this is how you learned about water mains? Yes. Yeah. Well, I worked this on the lake extortion before that, uh, before the start of the city a little bit, you know. But after, uh, for the town, I learned, because he uh, come over there and uh, I got to do a patch of the man, if I should do this, this and that. And uh, he's retired a little bit early. He have a lot of RCP in and he says, I go retire a little early. About two or three years uh, early ago. So I do for two years myself. That oh, job. What, what year did you start doing uh, water main? Oh, there was in um, 60, well, in 68. So between 55 and 68 you were doing the I roads and the garbage truck? And uh, garbage truck and the wind and the sewer, uh, everything. The sewer and everything. The water, I go just every time, uh, over time when they call me this, you know, for, because the other guys don't want to go. And, uh, they call me and, you know, I do the water work. One time I be them village, he's go have a cup of coffee with a woman there, top of the oven there. <laughs> the time I rented the machine. So the guy with the machine, I says, hey, dig over here. He dig over here, 
I patch them in and put a seat clamp and everything. Well, how did how did you learn where the where to dig? Well, he told me before. He uh, told you about the sound and how to listen and. Uh, no, 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 no. That's uh, the, uh, that was ground there. The ground, you know, mm -hmm. the water when it broke the uh, the ground it comes back up. Yeah. The top. But, uh, but after I learned a lot of things because that time they was uh, really bad. I remember first it one time one fire I learned broke. He let me. Let me close all the time. And uh, the manager come in the morning, he give him hell, and says, why well, you, you should close that wall over there, and that's all. But uh, you learn, see, when it happened like that, because after a while, you know, uh, 1968, I started the work. I tell the truth, sometimes it take uh, seven, eight hours, because no, I don't know what was a wall, I don't know nothing. So uh, I start after, I says, okay, I gotta look at this job. I got to do, and I make my own paper. Where was the, uh, where I, th I think there where was the a valve. valve I says, okay, the boys, we got to dig them up here. We got to find out this valve. Uh, could be a foot deep, two feet, uh, six inch. We find out. Because I imagine, I says, this is treated like that. There got to be a valve that goes there, there you know, a valve this side here. So I find out, and I make a lot of paper. Still, they use today that paper. They still use it, okay. Uh, when was it? Uh, last week I find one uh, Carlo there. says, Danny, you know this paper? <laughs> I say, what? Still he got us. What the hell? We never throw your paper away. We go there. Find, we know where it is. We go. <laughs> so I have to take. But in 1970, the superintendent says, I never asked for a super, uh, for man job. Because uh, I ain't got uh, English school, nothing. So yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> so uh, they called me this friend, uh, he do the four men already uh, before me, about the year before uh, for the school. No? So they make you four men now. So you see the paper, I say, oh, I never look. Yeah, they make you four men, I'm meeting last night. So I, uh, I give you hell, someone there. They say, who tell you? I don't want to do the four men. You know, I got no uh, English school. Hey, for two years you do for, uh, without the pay, you might as well do the pay. From now on, go. don't bother me because every time I broke a service and I got to call him, what do you want me to put a new water line here or patch this old, uh, see, so after he don't want to get disturbed, he says, you do the way best you think you do and do. So they gave me the job uh, for men that uh, 70. But when, when was this, 1970? 70, yeah, 1970. So I do the paper, but I, uh, I can't spell good English, you know. The way I talk, uh, <laughs> I mm -hmm. wrote. But they understand. They understand. I'll do. Because uh, he got put to the. Uh, for him, vendor, all this stuff. Uh, the time machines for, for the boys, for the machinery. Uh, but it's all a number, see. It's easy. Mm -hmm. All a number. It's no, not words. Not words, just a number. But for the inventor, he got to have. Uh, three years uh, after, uh, three or four years after I go retired. One time the engineer called me, him and the superintendent said, don't eat today, we we'll take you out. No, I said, something they want. So I don't eat, they pick me at uh, noon and bring me a shimmer park with them and, uh, and a restaurant. They have to bring me a beaver them village. He says, uh, you know where's the water man here, uh, Danny, how deep he is, what kind of man he is. Uh, I says, look, I don't remember the, all this thing, but I got the paper there. I got." The book, every year you give me a book, and uh, every day is mark on everything what I do. But the easy for find out, I got a little book for inventory, for a salesman, because every time a salesman come in, they got to call me out what I need, what I need. So he marked in, uh, in a little book what the last time I put. And then when he come back uh, 15 days, one month later, okay, from that uh, where he mark, see how many, uh, sea clamp, everything, whatever they use, it reinforces the warehouse. I say, you go there, there is mark only where is the wood day. And the day book, where you go there, and there is a mark everything, how far from a house or from the road, how deep, what kind of pipe is, the condition of the pipe, everything. So they go back and look and... They go, I say, just, I, I write the way I talk, I say, not uh, because I can do English. So on Christmas, well, before I go to Mexico, I go uh, say Merry Christmas. And 
I, I laugh. I said, do you understand anything? We put everything on the computer. Says. <laughs> we uh, later, later not explain uh, good, says, but uh, we understand what this. We we'll put everything on the computer, Danny. <laughs> oh, we don't bother you no more. But it's okay, says, because I can't remember everything. What? Uh, but it put. Uh, ever, do, you ever, do you still talk to them now? Sometimes with them. Oh yeah. yeah. Is there any way you could get some of your old notes? I could. I'd like to get a. No, the boys. The boys. Uh, the work there. Well, we Ronnie! I guess we better stop now. Beautiful. Thank you, Ronnie. Oh, boy. Oh, what's that, Ronnie? What do you got there? Huh? I'll stop this now. Yeah.